Like if I had my whole career to do over again, I would teach people about money. Because basically what I've done for, for 30 years, you know, while I was building out these other businesses, I was buying real estate. Every time I'd get a surplus of money, I'd take the surplus of money, I'd push it off to the side. Okay? Let me just show you the simplicity of it. Okay? First of all, I got to make more money. Everybody agree? Everybody agree with that? No, you got to make more money. Because if you, if you don't make more money, you ain't got any money. This is what Susie Arman says. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your money. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. All she had to do was go make some more money. Okay? Right? But what did she tell you? Don't spend it. You can't afford it. The truth is, you need to make more money. Number one, you got to make more money. Or in really in the case, don't make it, you need to collect it. Or get it. Who's got my money? Number two, what do I need to do now? I need to keep the money. It's not big words. And by the way, just because it's not big words doesn't mean it's not valuable. What am I keeping the money for? I didn't say save it, by the way. I said keep it. I don't need you to save money. There is no money made by saving today. How many of you know about compound interest? You're like, compound interest is the holy grail. No, no, not today it isn't. There is no compound if you're making 0.04% at the bank. Today's national, uh, uh, Friday's average savings rate in America was 0.12%. That ain't 12%. That's 0.12%. That's not 1.2%. That's 12 tenths of 1%. It take you 80 years to make 10% of your money. Okay, my mom was earning 10 or 12% 20 years ago. She was earning 10 to 12% in the bank. So every seven years, that money doubled. You know the rule of seven? The seven, it was a calculator, right? If you earn 10% on your money, every seven years it would roll over and double. Okay, do this. I think this is like, I don't know, 144 years to double money. $3 trillion sitting in banks. How many of you have a partner? You have a partner in business. Good. How many of you do not have a partner in business? Let me see your hand. Okay. Yeah, you do. It's the bank. You took your money and you trusted the bank with it. What does the bank do? They think the paper's so useless, they get rid of it. You can't get your money back. How many of you saw the video I did where I tried to get a million dollars in cash from my bank? Somebody said, Grant, you can't get your money. I said, what do you mean, man? Got me all freaked out. Stopped my whole day. What do you mean I can't get my money, man? I saw it on my account, man. And it made, I hung up with the phone with him. I'm like, I wonder if I can get my money. I don't know. How many of you would like to know more? Okay, I don't want to read a book. I'm not reading a book to find out if the bank can get me the money. What do I want to do? Hey, Ty, show me that money. Okay? Show me, man. Show me, man. If, if you... Oh, I can't show you that. Dude, you're going to tell the IRS you can tell me. You're going to show the IR and the S. You can show your boy G. Show me, man. Show me, man. I just want to see it. I believe what I can see. I don't believe all this airy-fairy bullshit. It goes away. Toys at us. Toys are us. If they can disappear, how many of your ideas could disappear? The things that I invest in today, I promise you, will be around longer than Facebook. 